I'm Michael Lazell with Enonic. This tutorial will demonstrate how to run Enonic XP on your own local machine with any operating system that has Java using our no install Java distribution. This is the preferred method of running Enonic XP for developers because it allows you to easily set up and switch between multiple app projects and versions of Enonic XP. Another option would be to install Enonic XP with the Mac or Windows installer. We have other videos to demonstrate this. The installer method would be slightly simpler and might be the best option for people who only want to run some apps locally. Of course, the easiest way to try Enonic XP is through the cloud. Visit Enonic.com for details. See our documentation for setup on production servers, clustered environments, or to install with Docker. This no installer method of setting up Enonic XP that I'm about to demonstrate is very quick and easy since it basically involves downloading a file, unzipping it, and running a startup script from the command line. There are no databases or app servers to mess with. Once Enonic XP is started, I'll show you how to log in and install your first apps. Finally, I'll show you some best practices for setting up your environment to work with multiple projects. But first, let's go over the basic requirements. Running Enonic XP without the installers requires Java 8, Update 92 or newer. You will need the JDK if you plan to build your own apps. Your machine should also have a gigabyte of available memory and port 8080 should be available for accessing the admin console. The port can be changed if needed. Get the Enonic XP Java distribution from enonic.com slash downloads. Make sure the Other tab is selected and click the Download button. You can download directly by clicking the Skip Registration link. Save this distribution zip file to a suitable location. I'm saving mine in this dev slash software folder right alongside previous versions of Enonic XP. This allows me to easily start up whichever version I need for whichever project I'm working on. Unzip the distribution file when the download is complete. This unzipped folder will now be referred to as XP install. Within the unzipped XP install folder is a very important folder named home. The home folder contains all the files for a specific instance of Enonic XP. The home folder is the key to easily switching between multiple projects. More on this later. The startup scripts are in the XP install slash bin folder. Mac and Linux users will need to run the server.sh file in the terminal. Windows users will need to run the server.bat file. You'll see the log begin to scroll, and when it stops, the last line should say started Enonic XP in however many milliseconds. XP will continue to run while this window is open, or it can be stopped with Control c but don't do this now. First, let's confirm that XP is running by pointing your browser to localhost port 8080. If you're seeing the login page, then congratulations, that's all there is to it. If something went wrong, it's most likely a problem with Java, like the wrong version or the Java home environment variable isn't set. Our documentation has troubleshooting tips and detailed instructions. Now that Enonic XP is up and running, you can log in with the default admin user credentials, SU and password. The first time you log in, an introduction tour will begin. The last step will install a few demo website apps. Other apps can be installed by opening the Applications tool and clicking Install. All of the apps listed under the Enotic Market tab can be installed with the click of a button. Some of these are demo websites, but most of them add functionality to existing sites. Visit the Enotic Market for more information and to find libraries and starter kits to create your own apps. Each Enonic XP project you work on should have its own home folder, and these home folders should be outside of the XP install path. Before starting Enonic XP, you can specify which home folder it will use by setting the XP home environment variable. If this environment variable is not set, then the home folder inside of XP install will be used. For my setup, I created a dev folder which itself contains software for different XP versions, source code for project code files, and XP homes which contain a folder for each project with its own Enotic XP home folder. For this demo, the default home folder has already been used when I started XP earlier, 
so I'm going to stop XP and delete the XP install folder. Now I'll unzip it again and this time I'll copy the home folder to a new demo folder in my XP homes folder. Now I can start any version of Unotic XP with its startup script and make it use the demo home folder by setting the XP home environment variable. Anytime you want to work on a different project, simply stop Unotic XP with Control C. Then set XP Home to use the home folder of your preferred project, and then start XP again. Our documentation has more information about all of the installation methods. Feel free to leave a comment or post questions on our forum at discuss.enotic.com. We look forward to seeing all of the wonderful things you will create with Enotic XP.